Thank you guys so much for being here. Welcome back if you just watched my last video on Elon and Claire. So, <laughs> um, I did not really need to put on like that much protection, like any extra protection to do the reading on Elon. However, Claire, <laughs> I don't know what we're going to get into today. I haven't done a reading on her in forever. Um, but my guides were like, uh, you should do something. <laughs> So I am wearing my HSP Essential um, oil, and you guys can purchase that on my website, Shameless um, Self Promotion. Let me get a picture of Claire. I don't know why. I really wasn't wearing it before, but people have different energies, you know? Oh, that's why I can't find her, because she goes by Grimes. Oh. Alright, so you guys saw my last video. I spoke about a woman that was very intuitive that was helping her, helping Elon. And I still do believe it's the mother, but I also feel like um, uh, Claire uh, Grimes is also very intuitive. And I'm getting like she might have had like some type of uh, psychedelic drug experience or something because they're showing me that what's changed from the last time I read her is that she was not this intuitive and I'm like asking why and they're saying that she might have got over she might have done like some psychedelic drugs and opened her third eye kind of like in that way I feel like there's spirit attachments on her. They're showing me like she may go to conventions where like they do psychedelic drugs like I don't know I guess like mushrooms or something um, like with a huge landscape. This may be in Texas because I think they both live in Texas. I, I just feel like she goes to like um you know, like, instead of, like, a Comic-Con, she does, like, these psychedelic drug um, <laughs> retreats, I guess. But they're not too far from home. I wouldn't even call them retreats. I would just say, like, she goes to conventions where they just do psychedelic drugs. And uh, they're showing me that because of it, she has, like, a Native American spirit on her. Um, I don't know if she... If she um, is into Native American... Um, I guess spirituality which what you would call it but I do feel like there is like um, Native American um, markings on her also I feel like whoever she's doing these conventions it might have been on like reserved land for Native Americans or something or she could have picked something up from being there and exposing herself spiritually in the locations that she's doing this shit at and because of that, there's just, there's a lot of Native American um, symbols and marks and markings that are coming in my head for her. I feel like she's French. I think she, I read somewhere that she's actually French. So that, you know, it makes sense that she's doing this stuff. Also, I'm getting like extraterrestrial and um, a darker elf energy from her. Because there's good elves and then there's not so good elves. There's like evil elves. I'm getting like a dark elf energy from her. Um, I do feel like she's very upset and like distraught about some things that have happened in her life. I'm, I'm getting like she's upset about certain things. I also feel like she's um, not coming into motherhood in the way you'd expect. Like, I feel like she misses her freedom before she was a mother. And there's some disconnect because I feel like she's going out and she's doing these things. Yet, 
something in her heart like has changed ever ever since becoming a mother maybe she feels like she's just not a good mother but i feel like somebody's like watching her kids because i don't really feel like she's tied down to anything um I feel like she's um, seeking some type of spiritual fulfillment and she's just not getting it at home. She's not getting it from her family, from her kids. Uh, I think her life has been kind of a cold place and that's why she's turning to these psychedelic drugs or this is this might have always been the case. I just feel like she has friends. She has like a, a small group of friends who she goes to these conventions with and... Like, I, I kind of getting that the only time she feels like free is at these conventions for some reason. Alright, but anyways, I've got some cards here for her that I pulled already. And... So, I, I feel like Grimes and Elon, their relationship, it might have ended because of a drug addiction from Grimes. Or, I feel like she was putting herself first in a selfish way with, you know, she, she wanted her freedom, I feel like. And this might have not suited um, Elon well because I think he's like always traveling and stuff. So, I, I do feel like there is going to be a new begin beginning between Elon and Grimes. Possibly um, entering another child into this world. Or, I think they already have via surrogate. But... I do feel like there is a new beginning. She is still very much a part of his life. I feel like she's going to really help him um, creatively as well. And uh, she may even help him um, with the opportunities that he's coming into. So I don't feel like she is bad. Like, I don't think she's a negative aspect of his life at all. I do feel like um, for both of them, there is going to be more success coming in the future. Uh, might not be with Twitter, but it could be with other endeavors. And she is going to stay there, and I do feel like there is going to be um, also a rebirth in their relationship. She's, he's going to see her for her good side eventually, but right now I'm just getting that he sees her, and I kind of feel like Grimes did not want to be as tied down in the relationship as he did, or as he, as they were. Like, it just wasn't working, you know what I mean? Um... But I do feel like they're, they are going to have a rebirth in their relationship, possibly, um, you know, she is the intuitive person that is giving her, giving him sound advice. You give me some more information on Elon and Grimes. I feel like um, Elon might actually okay so I'm asking if um, this is about the conventions and these psychedelic drugs and they're saying no no this is about something else there may be something like that Grimes is into this could be like a fetish or something and you see how we got one guy here with the light on all over him we got four people here this isn't about drugs I don't think <laughs> I think this may be about like them having like maybe orgies that's what I'm getting maybe I'm just sick but uh, intuitively I feel like Grimes might have some type of like fetish and um, they still like have sex together and it's with like more than one person you know what i mean like i feel like this is a big group um i do feel like their foundation together um this could be their home where they live or they're set up now because it seems like this is a very unconventional setup I do feel like there is going to be a change because sooner or later this is not going to work for both of them. It's not going to 
be it's not stable like right now it's not stable and they know that they know that it's not exactly working and i feel like the lightning bolt may mean that one of them may get into another relationship with somebody else and whatever this weird thing is that they have together is going to crumble down um so what is future for Grimes and Elon? Show me the future for Grimes and Elon. Sorry guys. These cards are hard to put in Uber. Three of Forces. I feel like Grimes is going to settle into becoming a mother and providing. And, um, you know, they are going to nurture their children because they have two kids now. And... They are going to take care of each other. I just, romantically, I'm going to get some clarification, but I do feel like they are going to be able to take care. They're going to take care of their kids together. They are, they are going to co-parent well together. It is going to be like peaceful resolution because they care about the children. However, romantically, like this is just not stable what they're doing. So what is the romantic future for Elon and Grimes? Show me the romantic future for you all at times. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so, this card can indicate relocation. And it can also indicate... Um, having uh they they may end up seeing other people and if for the sake of their children if one of them sees other people or both these other people may all live in the same house together and uh they possibly could enter a third person into their marriage or their their partnership however i i just feel like i feel like elon needs the house the family to be well like and stable for him to work well so if that means entering a third person i feel like this may be a girl that may happen <laughs> okay we might not hear about it on the news but that's what i'm getting like it's not going to be conventional and um but it is going to be keep the family like at peace and that's if that's what they want i mean that's that's fine. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading on Grimes and Elon Musk. If you guys have any suggestions for me, please leave them below. Um, the Mother's Day sale is extended for the week. And the last day to get in the Blockbuster is today. All right, guys. Bye.